Hello, my name is Jody Ann Johnson, CEO of Miami's Action Coach Business Coaching Firm, Team Sage, and your host of Business Spotlight South Florida, where we focus on the businesses that make South Florida great. Today, I have the pleasure of interviewing Manny Vidal of Premium Finance Group. Welcome, Manny. Could you give us a brief description of your insurance business and what makes it unique? Sure. Hi, Jody. Thank you for having me. Uh, Premium Finance Group uh, was born out of uh, a, new, a new concept that we first saw in the market back in 2002. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, we saw uh, an opportunity to finance life insurance premiums, which had never been done before. Okay, we knew, we knew that in the property and casualty business, this was something that, you know, was uh, often used, but never in the life insurance business. So having been a, an ex-banker, I worked at Citi uh, back in the days, uh, I, I saw it as a game changer. I said, oh my God, this is going to be unbelievable. So I decided to form Premier Finance Group. And, and it's been a hell of a ride ever since. <laughs> I bet. I never heard of financing insurance. How exactly does that work? Well, don't you finance your uh, home? Don't you get a mortgage for your house? Yes. Well, just here, here, the only difference is that uh, when we sit and talk to an ultra high net worth client that is looking at potentially um, having to pay the heirs, having to pay a lot of uh, um, death as they call it, death taxes. We come in and we say, "Look, let's let's go ahead and uh, uh, do a life insurance uh, uh, policy, uh, with the caveat that you're not going to pay the premium. I'm going to bring a major bank, one of the big money center banks like J.P. Morgan, Northern Trust, Wells Fargo, uh, some of the uh, big broker dealers like Merrill Lynch." Uh, in, in some investment banks like Goldman Sachs, et cetera. And they're going to come in, they're going to step in on your behalf, and they're going to pay 100% of the premium. And all you're going to do is pay the interest on that loan for a period of 10 years. So basically what we're doing is we're structuring the deal to mimic a bank note, as an example, a 10-year interest-only note with a balloon payment at the end of the 10th year. But guess what? That repayment of that principal is made from the cash values of the policy because of the right. way that we structure the policy. That's all that it is. Now, it's, it's a simple concept, but of course, it's it's, uh, it's uh, sophisticated. The intricacies are are are, are quite uh, um, impressive. I, I mean, when when you bring the banks into the deal and you bring, of course, the attorneys that draft the documents. And then the correct, I mean, the proper life insurance policy, because these policies have to be issued by investment grade insurance carriers, you know, the best of the best, double A, triple A companies. So what, you know, after everything is said and done, uh, you know, you, 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 you structure a pretty uh, uh, sophisticated transaction. And, and what's most interesting here is, and, and, and I have to, I have to highlight this is that it's a win-win for everybody. Because when you think about the transaction, okay, here's what happens. First and foremost, why is the bank interested in doing this? Well, here's an opportunity for the bank to have access to a new ultra high net worth client that possibly for one reason or another, in the past, they weren't able to sell them on their bank, on their institution, and what the institution can do for them. And what, what is the principal, okay, uh, driver of any big bank? It's wealth management, okay? That's how banks make money, when they can manage assets on behalf of the very wealthy. Go, but the key is, how do you get those clients? And here's a product that it's perfect, because it allows those banks to introduce themselves via this product to have access to that client. Now, the bank has no risk, by the way, because the underlying asset here, it's a major insurance company that's rated minimum double A or triple A. Right. For the client, it's a, it's a huge way for them right, to so say- they don't have to take it out of their pocket, right? Yes, thank you, yeah. thank you. They don't have to put their hands in their pocket and pay the premium. We have a bank that comes in, 
pays a premium in their behalf. Guess what? They keep their money on their, on their side of the table. They continue to invest in what they know best and where they can make the most money. And then the insurance company is able to sell a significant amount of life insurance, which the only way that insurance companies make money if the, if the case stays on the books. Okay, because see, they have, you know, after they pay commission and they put away X amount of dollars in reserves in case a client dies in the early stage, insurance companies, you know, have to wait six, seven years, eight years, depending on the product and the chassis and all that, and, you know, before they start making money. But in this situation, all of these contracts stay on the books and the insurance company love it because they know that those clients are going to remain and stay with them in perpetuity. So like I said, it's a win-win for everybody. For us, for the insurance brokers, it's a great product to sell, okay? And it offers a client all kinds of uh, guarantees, provides a tremendous leverage. We save clients a hell of a lot of money. Very simply put, insurance already is a hell of a leverage yep. where you pay X amount of dollars and getting 20, 30 times the amount that you're paying. Well, here, imagine if on top of that, I reduce that that uh, that cost by by two thirds, by two by seventy five percent. So it's it's just a great great uh, structure. A real innovation, I mean, it's a huge innovation. Huge! It's it, yeah. and and I can't believe it's that a lot of people don't know that. about it. Which, which I'm glad, by the way, because obviously we happen to be one of the leaders in this space. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, I would tell you that in Miami, maybe there's a handful of companies, but nobody does the kind of business that we do. We do. Well, you've been doing it almost 20 years. years. Right? Huh? You've been doing this almost 20 years. Exactly. We, we started in 2002. And then I was fortunate enough to get my kids to join, to join the firm. And today we're a true family company. And both my kids, my daughter went to Carrollton went to UM, got her MBA at UM. My son went to Gulliver, went to University of Florida, got his MBA. So, you know, they could have worked, and they did, they could have worked anywhere else, you know, but when they saw that we really had something unique, something special, and they joined the firm, now they're, of course, as, as, as sold on it as I am, and, and, and happy that we have this family company that has been very successful. It's beautiful, family business. Have a family oh, yeah. business too. So Great. let me ask Great. you something because, you know, I was um, learning about using life insurance as a personal bank, like as that kind of a vehicle. Right. Um, and so the as I was doing the due diligence on your company, I was thinking to myself, this would have to be a pretty significant size of life insurance. So who's an ideal client for you? What is an ultra high net worth? person look like? This is, yeah, these are clients that are worth 25 million and up. 25 million and up. Okay, got it. Million and up. Now, okay, that's good. not to say that, that you know, if they're worth 10 million or 15 million, they would probably qualify. But, uh, you know, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the banks that we work with get excited about the business. And you're not going to get excited about a $20,000 premium. But the bank is going to get excited about a five hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand, two, three million dollar premium per year, because yeah. we fund this in the in the in the uh, in the shortest amount of time. We try to put as much money as possible so that we can repay that loan as quickly as possible. But we have to stay within what they call the MEC, okay, which is nothing more than a modified endowment contract. We don't want to uh, uh, go 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 past you know, the parameters of that, because then it becomes a taxable event. No, 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 no. This is a okay. tax transaction pay rent, you know. In, Very in fascinating. Fascinating. <laughs> and so I have an idea of why you started the business. And I read on your website that your mission is to ensure that your family, loved ones, your estate, and your business are protected. So I can hear that you're doing that every day. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and I got to tell you, you don't know how many times it comes up. Uh, unfortunately, what happened to the Robbie family. And interesting enough, this Sunday, I went to the Miami Film Film uh, Festival is they have they, they, they made a movie about 
Unfortunately, what happened, it's called the Rabi curse because they built the stadium on, on, uh, on holy grounds. Uh, it, it was, there was a Seminole burial area in the, in the, in, in the same place where they built the stadium. Oh. Yeah, and they go through the whole thing why at the end, you know, this, this family, you know, ended tragically. I mean, I mean they ended up with nothing, nothing. Oh, no. Here's a family that could have been worth what? what? What are the Miami Dolphins worth today? Three billion dollars? Two and a half billion? And they sold it for a hundred million? because they couldn't pay taxes, because the old men didn't have a life insurance policy? Are you kidding me? Oh, Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, you live in South Florida, you know about the Robbie family. That's for sure. Oh, you know about the right? Robbie family. There you go. There you All go. Right. So Simon Sinek, man, he says that people don't care what you do or how you do it. They care why you do it. So why do you do what you do? I love it. You know, it, it, it's, we, we bring so much added value to a relationship, okay? Uh, there, there, there are a number of reasons why this business is so, to me, is so um, beneficial. Uh, you know, we're doing, first of all, we're doing something good for the client. You know, we're protecting his legacy. We're ensuring that his family will continue to prosper after he's not here. We have the ability to be able to, first of all, meet very interesting individuals, families, obviously, and to be able to sit with them and bring a solution is very satisfying. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day. So these people have access to a lot of advisors and, and you know, uh, so on and so forth. And, and here we are, you know, we're able to come in there also and say, okay, for, you know, for this part of your, of your financial strategy, let us be the one that can take you over the goal line as far as ensuring your legacy for your family. Mm. So the, the type of insurance that you do, was it infected during the pandemic in, in a big way or not so much? You know, we really didn't, you know, our business it slowed down a little bit, but nothing out of this. I mean, it didn't really make that much of a difference to us. Actually, if anything, those procrastinators all of a sudden said, wow, you know, I, I, I should call up premium finance and I should continue those conversations with these guys because look of, unfortunately, how many individuals have been, have been uh, you know, have, have been hit by this pandemic and, 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 and didn't, didn't make it, you know, they're deceased. So if anything, yes, it helped in those in those circumstances. But for the most part, the people that we talk to, you know, they're already been planning with their estate tax attorneys, uh, you know, to do this. So uh, you know, they know that they have an issue that they got to resolve, and and we just make it so much easier for them. Because I will tell you that I don't care how much money anybody has. When I show up to that to that uh, presentation, okay, to that meeting. And I say to a client, with all due respect, Mr. Rodriguez, I really do not need your money to put in place this structure that's going to preserve your legacy. All I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a bank to provide the funding so that you can implement this opportunity and you can rest assured that your that your family will always be taken care of. But I don't need your money. I mean. I'm bringing you the money. I'm bringing you the solution and the money. I have to tell you, <laughs> I got to tell you, nobody in any meeting that you go to, nobody can say that. Think about that. Yeah. Every time that these ultra high net worth meet with somebody, with an advisor, at the end of the day, what do they have to do? They got to either write a check, right? Invest, or they have to wire the money so that you know the money can start earning you know, whatever expectations are, whoever it was that would try to sell them on. And here we come in and we say, I don't need it. I don't need your money. Oh, wow. Dynamics of that are huge. <laughs> You're having I, fun every day. <laughs> I so got great. the money. I don't need your money. So Not a, I got it. That's great. So what My challenge, I'll tell you one thing, the only challenge that I have, the only one, 
And we, we're always constantly, of course, you know, uh, trying to uh, do big, bigger and better things is sitting in front of the ideal client that has the profile for us to be able to introduce the concept to. That is it. It's not selling it. It's the easiest part is getting in front of that client. That's the challenge. And then you, I saw on your website that Danielle is doing the marketing. So that'll be getting better and better as well, I'm sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, but our, our, our marketing is more a rifle approach. It's not your shotgun approach, okay? Because uh, to get to these type of clients, it, it, it's just very uh, challenging. I mean, you know, it's very delicate. Okay, because these people, remember these people, first of all, they have a bunch of uh, gatekeepers around them. Okay, it's tough to, you know, to penetrate those gatekeepers, not easy. So how do you, how do you penetrate that? What do you do different than somebody else is trying to do? Well, we have befriended a lot of the major law firms here in Miami. As a matter of fact, this is very interesting. We're the only insurance platform that has testimonials of how good of a product we have and, and, and how uh, uh, well okay, we're able to structure it for clients from the likes of Holland and Knight. I can send them to you. I can send it to you so you can see it. Holland and Knight, Schutz and Bowen, and then some other you know, smaller firms. And then I also have banks that have given us testimonials like JP Morgan, we did a $100 million deal with them. They were very appreciative. They sent me a thank you letter. They said, well, you guys do this better than any, any, anybody else. So that's, that's very, very important. Okay. There's a lot about because, you. Well, I, I mean, today, you know, we live in, in litigious society. Everything is litigated. Everything. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, and to be able to get a, a Holland and Knight in their in, in their um, letterhead saying that we're pretty darn good, that's that says a lot about how, how good we are. Yeah, really good deal. Cool. And so what's inspiring you the most these days? And what's been your biggest learning? Well, what inspires me the most? Um, to have seen this baby company go through all the different stages that it has, that has become a significant player in the market. I love it. I, you know, I had this, it's a, you know, there, there, there's something to be said about that little voice inside of you that talks to you. Uh, be whatever it is, be whatever your beliefs are. And, and I have a lot of faith, by the way. Uh, I'm not a born again Christian, so, so don't, don't be uh, <laughs> a know. person of faith. Yeah. <laughs> I just have a lot of faith and I think we need faith. Uh, I don't know how people do it without it. But anyways, going back to that little voice, when, when, I, when I was, when I first saw the, the, this concept come into the market, you know, I just knew it, you know, when, when something grabs you and you say, this is going to be good, man. This is going to be good. This is what you've been waiting for. Okay. Because I've been in the financial services industry for a very long time. I started with Citibank back in the 1980s. From there, I moved over to the insurance business with AXA where I was there 16 years. And all along the way, I was very successful. Uh, I've always you know, believed that uh, first and foremost, you have to be able to bring to the table an a, a, a important differential. I don't know how to say that word, but whatever. You know what I mean. It's something different, you know, something that's really, really different. Uh, and uh, be able to, to, to represent the best of the best. Okay, uh, and, and I've done that successfully. But then this comes along and I say, oh, wow, this is, I, I mean, I, I see Wall Street, they use your money, okay, to try to make money, but it's your money they lose. It's not their money that they, you know, that they, that they lose, it's yours. It's they're using your money, okay? I've been in banks where the same thing between the fees and this and that and the other and the recommendations that come down you know, from the top of what you should sell and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, the risk is on the client. And here, we're taking their risk away. Here, we're able to bring something that's solid, that the clients can, 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 can depend and know that they're not going to be surprised. Perfect example. What happened on Friday? What happened over the weekend? 
with uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Well, I wrote a, a first thing in the morning at nine o'clock, I was emailing all my current clients, new potential clients, friends, marketers, et cetera, that work with us, partners, et cetera. First thing I did was, isn't it great to know that your product, the product that you bought from us is doing what it's supposed to do. You are not going to lose a dime, no matter what's happening in the market because of the product we use to implement this strategy. Mm -hmm. And isn't it great that you're not going to get any collateral calls, that you're going to get any, you know, that no losses are going to occur, that you don't have to be concerned about, oh my God, now what? Here we go. We have another, another you know, big uh, 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 mess in our hands because of what happened with uh, Silicon Valley Bank. So it's, it's, it's really very rewarding. Yeah, I can see the pride and the passion in your speaking. <laughs> you can hear it and see it. As we wrap up the interview, are there any parting thoughts that you'd want to share? Well, if we can help you on your personal uh, wealth management uh, needs, please feel free to call us at any time. We are 24-7. Uh, We're on 24-7. We, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll come and visit with you anytime that you would want to have any conversations with us. Uh, and uh, and um, it's, it's, it's wonderful that Miami has become such a mecca for, for individuals uh, that are considered ultra high net worth. And, and, and we're here to, you know, provide any services that, uh, that they might need. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much for your time and the difference that you're making both for your clients and our community. You can learn you. more about Premium Finance Group at their website, premiumfinancegroup.com. And they have a number on there. You can call Manny and he'll walk you through it. It's just beautiful. Oh, absolutely. Well, thank you, know, you so we'll, much. It's been a pleasure absolutely. to be what with you. Well, listen, thank you for the opportunity because of individuals like you and firms like yours allows us to get our message out. So thank you for that. You are welcome.